good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and uh, we commonly use the term for this particular day, this particular Friday of the year, is Good Friday. And um, for us that live today, it is a Good Friday. Um, the day that it came, <clears throat> it came about, I doubt, I doubt very seriously anybody thought that it was a Good Friday. Brother Don Reese has uh, been posting things. Maybe you've had a chance to look at that. If you haven't, you might want to take a chance to look at that. But he was talking about Thursday night. Last night was the night of the supper. The last supper, as we call it today, was the Passover supper for the Jews at that time. Jesus was celebrating the Passover supper uh, with his disciples in the upper room. And from there he went out, and this is where we hear where he prayed. He took his disciples with him took three of them and went a little further and then he went a stone's throw from those three and began to pray and travail and this is where the great process happened at it wasn't on the cross that Jesus was making the choices that he had to make for today it was in the garden in the prayer when he finally submitted the scripture said that he he actually had great drops of blood break out like sweat on his brow. He was under so much pressure. It was during the night when he was juggled back and forth in a court system that, that was not legal, that he was abused and led back and forth between uh, some dictators that, or some, some politicians that didn't want to have his blood on their hands and they wanted somebody else to make the commitment for him. But it was here that Jesus lost all of his disciples. You say, well, I wonder what happened. Well, fun, one thing is they was running in fear. Absolute fear had taken over in their life. And Jesus, he, he looked down and there was no one there. And even his disciple who he had decided that he would invest so much in and give the keys to the kingdom, as he looked down, he watched him as he denied that he even knew him, associated with him. You know, the problem was that those men had become entangled in just like so many of us in the thought process of what is in it for me you know they had expected jesus to take and lead them into a new kingdom and and they was going to be rulers and princes with him in the kingdom that they had in their mind and here jesus was laying down his life he was paying the ultimate price they didn't understand it couldn't figure it out but christ was doing this for the glory of god christ was giving himself as the sacrifice and, and, you know, it, it was about 8 o'clock in the morning. His time was approximately would have been uh, when he was being condemned. They crucified him probably at about 9 o'clock in the morning. And um, the scripture said that he was on the cross six hours. Um, so he, he was there. And I imagine his mother looked and thought, what, what is, what's going on here? I don't understand this. I, I've raised this, this young man. I've heard every, all the prophecies. I try to understand, but it was probably difficult for her too. And so sometimes when things happen for the glory of God, we don't understand everything. It reminds me that when his disciples were walking with Jesus while he was on his earthly ministry, and while they was walking with him, they came to a man that was blind. And that man... Uh, the disciples were trying to figure out why he was blind. They was trying to pinpoint a reason. Don't we do that in our own lives? When something goes wrong, when something's amiss, the very first thing that we love to do is start looking for the reason why something was wrong. You know, <clears throat> where did this come from? Why? Who did this? Who's responsible for this? Well, whatever happened. But Jesus made this simple comment. He said, this man was blind so that the glory of God could be revealed. Jesus went to the cross that the glory of God could be revealed. Jesus Christ went to the cross so that our sins could be forgiven, so that our sins that we could not pay a price for, he became the sacrifice. He paid the ransom. Nobody understood that at the time. Nobody could see exactly what was going on. In hindsight, they often say hindsight's twenty twenty. It, can't you look back on your life and see some things that you that you wish that you would have known way back then you could have understood it and processed it better but looking back you say wow I see it now this is how his disciples felt this is how his mother felt this is how those that were in his inner circle felt what is going on 
But God understood there was a bigger purpose in, for this world. And so he gave his life so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. The scripture said that the sacrifice of Jesus Christ satisfied the wrath of God. It became a propitiation as a big fancy word that we use that it paid the price for all of our sins and all of our failures in the past, currently, and in the future. God loves us and he paid an ultimate price. Sometimes you don't understand what's going on in your life at the moment. Sometimes you can't figure out why you're up against something that don't seem to break loose. But I want you to know that sometimes God lets you go through certain things so that his glory can be revealed in your life. Just like Christ went through and the glory of God was revealed through that. We see it very clearly today. I want you to know today. Don't worry about the things that's happening in your life and try to start figuring out all the ins and outs of them. But what I want you to do is understand, put your faith and confidence in Jesus Christ and let the glory of God reign through your circumstance. Find that Jesus Christ can satisfy you in the midst of a storm, in the midst of problems, in the midst of issues in your world. Jesus Christ will satisfy your soul. He'll fill you up. He'll forgive you of your sins, and he'll make you whole. I'm looking forward to Easter Sunday morning. That's the beautiful part of this story, when Jesus Christ will rise again. I can't wait to see all of y'all join me for Easter service, Easter Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. We love y'all. Take time to share this video. Reach right down there. Push that button before you leave, before you get on your way for the day. Push the button. Share this video. Take time to minister to somebody else's life today. We love y'all. We'll see you soon.